can see all these smaller objects everywhere, all this craft lit up, sitting all over this craft, so imagine the uh, planet-sized craft with all these objects and this guy got to be look that's the mouth of a freaking dinosaur right there This big thing is the mouth of a dinosaur, then you have a smaller heads around it. This is a crocodilian look, this is another, this is a, the old dinosaur or reptilian looking deals. So he enlarged that part, and this bottom part right here, it has the dinosaur head on one side and a crocodile one on the other side. You can look at it. Look at the eyes right there. Right eye, left eye, a big old snout on the mouth. Then you look on this other side, it's a crocodile head right there. I mean, if it's a crocodile and a dinosaur, it's not gonna be a, a dog or a, or a fish, it's a reptile. Quack like a dog, walk like a dog, it's not gonna be a freaking elephant. There it is. entire structure is immense and it looks look, just like I said, like a crocodile on this side, crocodilian looking, then another reptile looking on top of that, and it's, it's, it's a, and this that side is a dinosaur with the mouth and the teeth right there, showing right there. He has several, several set of eyes. There's another face on this side with a nose. Look, there's another set of eyes. These main eyes are part of another face to the side. Like I said, they can never make something that looks just one way. You have to look different, multi ways. Then you have this part in the bottom center. This brighter yellow, brighter yellow. And then you have this tubular looking deal at the very bottom of it. It's incredible how this. They're incredible, and this guy is incredible that can take a tiny little speck in a picture and enlarge it to where you can see even tiny little craft that you will never ever see even if you enlarge the image a thousand percent and zoom in with a camera that you you don't see that so here's the, the craft that he's looking at Number one, and he put a check mark after the crocodile and the dino heads. So it's gonna take a look at the second craft right here, right outside the song, the 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 song's corona. But I see that there is another craft that looks like that statue. 
right next to the second crack. And that was, uh, uh, I made that yesterday, that discovery. Look, just like the statue attached to the huge craft in, in, on, that we just saw. Look at that, another statue right there. Exactly like that one. With the same reptile face. But well, this time it's pixelated. But uh, you can see the arms and the same bottom of the other one. The red one that he just showed earlier. So when you pay attention to things, then you can See, the same thing as that picture I just showed you. The exact same thing. So that's not just a one-time thing. No, this is a craft attached to the mothership. But it's so dark that you cannot tell what it is. Look. That's just like the one I just discovered yesterday when I was reviewing the image. Right there, what he say, number two. Look, it's just like that one. See, the same bottom, the arm and the head. Exactly, so that's another craft that was attached to that one. And this one is larger because that one is the big, is attached to that, this one right here. This is what we just finished watching, the number one on the right side. But you can see other craft all over this picture. If you enlarge the picture, you see there's a lot of other craft and blobs of energy around this area. So, you got to think now in terms of levels of energy and that's the second possible craft it looked like a a wedding a, a, a little cake but it's not you see it's just amazing how this guy with that technique and just this amplify and refine the image to the point where you when you first started thinking that it was this way it was not it was something else Just like he said at the beginning, things are not always like what they appear to be at first. And I can see already there's a reptilian head right there, the eyes and the triangular shape of the forehead. And another face at the bottom of that one is all like that. See? Look like a map of United States.